Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do a mail merge in Word and do grouping. And here's an example of it. I'm going to pull up my Excel file. This is where my data is kept. I have rep, I have client and visits. So I don't want uh, Smith getting three letters and Reynolds getting three and Watson getting two. I want Smith to get everything on one page. So I'm going to close my data source. Remember the header row names. And back in Word, you would start a new document and do mail merge under mailings and do a directory. But I already, I already have this set up, so let me show it to you. So here we go mailings. Make sure you pick directory, select your recipients. You didn't pick directory in the previous step, it won't work. There's my source file. You want to edit the recipient list. So not only do you have to do a directory, you must always sort by your key field. My key field is rep, so I'm going to go to sort. So now I have it sorted by rep. And you can't just do this without typing in some uh, field codes and hear what the field codes look like. I'll show you where I got this information. It's on a Microsoft support website. What I'm basically saying is right here for each rep, uh, keep showing all the records for each rep until the rep changes. Preview results does no good when you're doing this. So just go to finish and merge. Edit individual and hit OK. And there you go. There's the rep rentals. And those are the three clients he visited with the number of visits. There's the rep Smith. And there's the rep Watson. If by chance you want to put in a page break, so let me close this one. Select everything, Control A, toggle your field codes. If you wanted to put in a page break, you would do it right here. I'm going to go the long way, page break, break, page, mailings again, finish and merge, edit individual documents, hit OK. So there's Reynolds, there's Smith, and there's Watson. So I found out how to do this using a Microsoft support site, KB294686. It works in any version of Word, including the new versions 13, previous uh, 7 and 10. If you notice, I was in Word 7. And it even tells you the instructions on here. Control plus F9 will insert the field braces. And so that's where I got this information from. I hope that helps. Thank you for your time.